Hey everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to the channel. Well, we finally made it to the end of 2021. It has been another wild ride, but we finally made it to the end. And we've seen a number of different uh, figures released this year. We've seen some surprise figures. We've seen some delays. Uh, we've seen some good figures, some bad figures. And so it's been uh, pretty interesting. So what we're gonna do in this video is based off of the figures that I purchased this year, um, I'm going to basically show off what I believe my top 10 picks are for the year. These are figures that I got and there was just some kind of quality, some kind of feature that the figure had that really just blew my mind. And so therefore, out of all the figures that I got, I rated these as my top 10. So check it out. Tell me what you think in, in the comments as far as what your figures were, what were your favorites that grabbed your attention. I'd love to hear about that. And then stick around to the end of the video and I'll actually show you a top 10 of what I have as far as my favorite photos that I've taken this year with the figures that I received as well as maybe some other ones. There's actually been some pretty good pictures I've taken quite a bit, uh, but I did narrow it down to a top 10 favorites of my photos. So stick around to the end for that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it with number 10. Well, as you can see, we're starting out big. This is the unstoppable juggernaut that was made by Toys Era. This thing blew me away when I saw it. It was just, just the sheer size of it is just absolutely amazing. You know, as a matter of fact, just for reference, this is the Hot Toy Spider-Man, and you can see, 12 inch figure, you put him next to the Juggernaut, and literally that is the size that Juggernaut is supposed to be. This is to scale. So I was really impressed when I saw this figure. Absolutely amazing with all the detail in it. I know that this was based off of the other Juggernaut uh, figure that was actually, I believe Toys Era did the same one, and that was from the uh, Deadpool movie. So this is actual comic book version, which is what I like to go for. I get a lot of figures that, you know, based off of Marvel movies and whatnot, but I really like to go for stuff that leans more toward the comic because I, I feel like I can do more with it. The only issue that I kind of ran into with him is the fact that he's, he's pretty top heavy. He's pretty top heavy, so uh, there are times I really try to get him into some running poses uh, because, you know, Juggernaut's always running and plowing through walls and whatnot. And so that was the only thing that was a little bit difficult. Uh, but other than that, just the sheer size, the paint application on the, on the figure, and really the head, the helmet and everything really looks good. Uh, didn't really come too much with accessories, but then again, Juggernaut really didn't need any accessories. So he came with a couple extra hands. But overall, I think it is a great, great figure. Coming in at the number nine spot, this is the Cyclops that was made by Sideshow Collectibles. And this one, I think Sideshow really knocked it out of the park with this one, simply because this literally looks like they grabbed the Cyclops version from that 90s TV show and brought him to life. I mean, the tailoring in the clothes, the stitching in the jacket, is just really well done all the way around. The jacket fits so nicely on the figure and it was just really good design all around. I mean, it did so well. They also came with the extra uh, piece because I got the collector's edition. So the collector's edition came with this uh, extra accessory to where it looks like it was a little bit of the smoke coming from the uh, optic blast and also the actual optic blast accessory that comes with uh, this figure is also a really good added extra bonus to it. So yeah, I think this figure was uh, was done really well and I'm so glad I had it. Definitely made it into my top 10. Uh, the only issues I kind of had with it, which is very minor, is the, the facial expression. I mean, Sideshow does a really good job. In my opinion, Sideshow does a good job of doing expressions on the faces for the figures. You don't really get like this blank stare or something like that. And so they really did a good job with uh, doing all the figures like that. It's just when it came to this one, I don't know, his, his expression is really, to me, it, it looks good, but I think some improvements could have been made on it. Or maybe even an extra accessory or an extra headpiece that had like a different expression. I think that would have been good. But other than that, 
This is a great figure, great design, the vibrant yellows, the vibrant blue into the fabric and everything is, is really well done. And so definitely made it to the number nine spot. Coming in at number eight, this is actually a figure that was just recently released. Uh, this is the Sideshow Gambit, also another X-Men figure. And again, I believe they were really kind of going with the classic style of what we've seen in the cartoons. I think this is kind of like the toy line that they were uh, or following as far as reference is concerned. In addition to, to the comic book look, because this figure does come with an extra uh, hair piece so you can change the hairstyle. Uh, but overall, I think, again, this figure is really well done. Uh, I like the detail in it. You get the same, because of the material, the fabric is the same as the Cyclops as well as the Sideshow uh, Wolverine that they did. Uh, just the kind of material that they use for the clothing on the inside, uh, it allows you to really have uh, a full range of motion, uh, you know, more flexibility when it comes to the legs and things and whatnot. Uh, when it comes to the feet, same thing with the Cyclops and also the Wolverine figure. Uh, you can actually um, move the, uh, you know, have the ankle pivot. You can move around with the feet and everything. And they do a good job of hiding it like it covers over the foot, uh, which was really good. I think they did a good job with that. Again, the tailoring and the coat is also really well done. The only thing that I think is really kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a downside to it. Uh, is that there's no wiring in the coat. I think that, that really kind of hurt it when it came to this because he comes with some extra pieces where you can really get him into some dynamic poses, uh, but then you have this coat just kind of laying flat. Uh, however, the lining of the coat, the inside of it, is really well done, so I, I do appreciate that. Um, but overall, I would say the uh, if, it, if it had the wiring in the coat, especially the wiring in the belt, I think that would have been really setting it over the top. Just small little details like that because as you can see, the coat's laying down perfectly, but then because the belt is so stiff, it sticks out. And it doesn't really, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't really look all that great uh, to it. But I mean, there's some different ways you can, things you can do as far as hiding it, but it's, um, it's, it's just kind of an eyesore with that and that wiring really would have helped it when it came to uh, being able to pose it and stuff like that. But the number of hands that it comes with, it's like that's one of the bonuses about this is the hands, the extra accessories that it comes with as far as having the kinetic energy with the cards. Uh, they give you more than one card and then the effect that you have, you can see that they put um, little openings where you can put the cards in it. And so overall, the, it's, it's really good. The staff itself, uh, I believe this is like an aluminum uh, staff. And then they made these pieces plastic and they made it flexible because you can put them in his hands and so you can be able to kind of bend the staff a little bit, give a little bit of flexibility so you can put it in both of his hands if that's what you want it to do. But it does have a nice weight to it because of the, uh, because of the staff and everything, the material that they use. It's overall really good. The other downside I forgot to mention is they use a hard plastic for the torso. And so therefore, you know, this figure may have had 30 points of articulation, but because of the material that they use for the torso, you lose, you lose some of that. And so that was one of the downsides to it. But overall, I think, again, this was a really good job. I think it was a good figure and uh, definitely set itself above some of the other ones that uh, that I received this year. So yeah, definitely a number eight spot. And coming in at the number seven spot, this is the armor from the Mandalorian series. Uh, this figure, I, I mean, the character itself to me just really grabbed my attention, uh, even though she didn't really have a lot of on-screen time, but just the mystery of the character and representing the Mandalore and everything, th that was just, uh, it really turned into an iconic character for me. So I was so glad when Hot Toys kind of surprised us with this figure because uh, I immediately jumped on it. I gotta say I was hesitant in the beginning because I wasn't sure if the skirt was gonna be like a hard plastic uh, because Hot Toys kind of does that sometimes with some of their figures. 
So I thought I was gonna lose some range of motion, but then I realized that it's actually a material uh, for the skirt. And so therefore it, it really allowed me to be able to, you know, move the legs the way I want to. Uh, they did a good job as far as covering up the ankles so that I can get range of motion in the ankles for the feet uh, and still have it covered so where you don't see the joints. I love how the plastic actually looks like a leather material um, for the gauntlets and the gloves and everything, but they still uh, are made of like a plastic so you can still get range of motion in it. And, uh, and also just the fur that's on the back. Uh, really, just the figure itself from the show itself is a, it's just a good design. So for Hot Toys to be able to do this uh, figure and really bring it to life, I think they did a really good job. The weathering in the helmet, overall, it's really good and it really makes for some good pictures. Uh, even, I mean, it caused me to actually get some extra accessories so that I can, you know, really add the dynamic of the forge that she was in as well as kind of come up with some other uh, sceneries and stuff like that with her. And so overall, I think it was a really good design. So yeah, definitely a good spot. Number seven. Now, coming in at the number six spot, this is going to stay in the Mandalorian series. This is the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. This to me was an immediate pre-order as soon as I saw it. I, I, I was just, I liked his character in the show. Uh, I liked the design of his suit and just the sheer size of it. I, I knew he was, he was definitely an instant pre-order for me. Uh, just the, literally the design you can see in the clothing and whatnot, uh, literally they did a good job nailing it, all of the detail. And so a very, very impressive piece. Uh, all of the accessories that he comes with is including like, you know, flames for the jetpack. Uh, it's really good. The huge uh, Gatling gun that he has to, to come along with it. Uh, overall, I think it's just a great, great piece. Uh, really good flexibility, a lot of range of motion. Uh, even though, you know, you still have the armor pieces here because it's separated, you can still get that range of motion even though it has the hard plastic on the front. And so, yeah, I think it's, it's really good. The way the joints move in the body, uh, allowing it to literally be on a little bit of a ratchet so that everywhere you move him, he stays uh, in that spot. And so, yeah, just a, just a very, very overall good figure. And so, yeah, like I said, it's, it's definitely a, a instant pre-order. Uh, so I was really glad, really excited when he finally came in. Uh, just where you can see all the weathering and the helmet and the armor and all the pieces there You can see that you know, there's some really good detail in the battle damage So yeah, definitely a good figure and deserves to be in the top 10. So that is our number six All right, we have now made it into our top five and coming in at that spot is the Mandalorian and Grogu deluxe set this was another one that was an instant pre-order for me. And the funny thing is, is I, I didn't even collect Star Wars figures. I, I always got Marvel, DC, and, and other things, video game figures. I never even thought about carrying or picking up any Star Wars figures because I knew that was just another rabbit hole. And here it is, based off of the Mandalorian series, here I am now buying Star Wars figures. And so Mandalorian, the show, was the thing that did it for me and uh, I just couldn't help myself. So I, I did buy the very first uh, armor set and so I, I literally, I just, I couldn't resist. I had to get the deluxe set with the Beskar armor on it and I even have some other Mandalorian figures that's already pre-ordered so I'm pretty excited about next year as well to see what I can get. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely had to have this figure. The detail in it, the weathering, uh, all the extra accessories that he comes with. He comes with the pod for uh, Grogu to sit in, and it's it's just an overall great figure. I got some really good pictures uh, based off of this figure and the different poses and whatnot. And so yeah, I was really excited about getting this figure. And that is one of the things is being able to see all the pictures that I can get from having this kind of suit because he has the helmet. Because he has the helmet. I can get all kinds of uh, photos and whatnot, a lot of dynamic poses. I like the range of motion in the helmet. Uh, so yeah, I can really do a lot 
with this figure and that was one of the reasons why it just really became one of my top 10 figures is because I can do so much with it when it comes to the photos. So yeah, this is definitely uh, a top 10 figure for me. And coming in at number four, we remain in the Star Wars universe, specifically the Mandalorian series. This is the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike that was released uh, by Hot Toys. Again, this, this is an amazing piece. I've never actually owned the Speeder Bike before. Um, I actually, well, actually, I gotta take that back. I have the uh, Hasbro one that was released a long time ago based off of what was uh, seen uh, when they were in the indoor scene in Return of the Jedi. So having one that's white, uh, that to me grabbed my attention immediately and also being able to see the scout trooper in a different environment that also grabbed my attention as well so the detail in this is really good i like the weathering that's done on the speeder bike and the, the weathering that's done in the outfit itself as a matter of fact the outfit i believe was so good that when they released the scout trooper as a separate piece without the speeder bike i bought that one as well just so i can have two scout troopers uh, so yeah, this is overall just a really really good piece. This figure actually comes with another Grogu Which I, I kind of find that funny because there's a lot of Mandalorian figures that get released with Grogu Because of the fact that the series it seemed like Grogu was handed off to everybody It seemed like Mandalorian had no problem finding a babysitter when it came to that series And it seems like when it comes to the figures Hot Toys is doing the same thing It's like everybody comes with a Grogu figure like they're all babysitting the figure itself and so I think that's kind of comical, but the overall, again, this was a really good piece. Uh, definitely set it up as far as being able to, you know, be in a lot of the um, uh, the light of the pictures that I was able to take with it. I don't actually normally use this accessory here. Uh, I have actually another piece that I use. I found like a piece of wood that was strong enough to actually hold up the uh, speeder bike and be able to put them in different environments and so I was able to get some really good pictures out of that but overall yeah this this is definitely a really really good six scale figure and accessory and everything it's, it's really cool so yes definitely top 10 and our number four spot okay so I'm now gonna say these next three figures that you see these figures absolutely blew my mind when I saw them when I had them in hand when I saw the photos I was already excited and when I actually got them in my possession I was just blown away and so the next three that you see they, they really did it for me so coming in at number three this is the Hot Toys Batman Beyond and this figure is so impressive I, I was just really impressed with the way they designed the suit so that you can get range of motion, the material with it so that you're not stressing anything, and just literally the shine off the figure is so well done. I had such a good time uh, taking pictures of the figure, uh, putting them in a, a number of different settings. With this particular figure, I kind of felt like I didn't take enough pictures. Uh, because he's just so good the material that they actually use on the inside for the fabric uh, I believe this is the same kind of material that they use for the Hot Toys Kylo Ren and so this was just uh, Again, just an overall great piece great design the uh, the wings that he comes with that you can you know attach and, and detach from it uh, it, it literally was just so good. I, I really, like I said, I took a lot, of, a lot of good pictures. I had fun taking pictures of this guy and definitely plan to take more. But just the overall design of it, it is so good. Such a good figure. I'm so glad to have it. So yes, this is definitely a great piece. Definitely top 10, definitely top five and deserves the number three spot. Okay. Coming in at number two, this figure is an absolute beast. 
I'm, I'm literally I'm a loss for words because of how well this figure is put together. It is so impressive. This is the Iron Scavenger, uh, better known as Vulture from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Uh, this was made by Jazz Inc. Dioramas and it is an absolute impressive piece of work. I just, the detail in the wings, it is absolutely impressive. I just, I literally, the way you see him now, you have, he just on a regular stand, but he actually comes with metal wires so that if you want to put him in flight, you can have him in a flight pose. The jacket itself is made from a real leather material. That is absolutely impressive so that you don't really have to deal with any kind of wear or deterioration from the jacket. It is so impressive. The eyes light up uh, on the helmet itself. I don't really have it on right now. I'm gonna see it. Well, let's see if we can actually get it on so you can see the way the eyes look on the inside. And you can kind of see that there. Uh, but oh my gosh, this thing is so absolutely impressive. I am amazed at the detail in this figure. And so, yeah, I, I was just blown away by it. Uh, this is another one where I've uh, taken a number of different pictures of him, but I haven't really got a whole lot of them because I just, I get so many figures and so many pictures, ideas and stuff like that. So sometimes I, you know, really get caught up into some other stuff. Uh, but literally just the whole detail of everything. This is such an impressive uh, figure. I mean, you can see just based off of the wingspan, just from where you can see the size of the wingspan and the size of the figure. I mean, it's it's absolutely massive. I believe the wingspan is uh, really like four and a half feet for the wingspan. Uh, and then you have articulation in here as far as how these, uh, the turbines, they move, you can move them, move them back and forth. Uh, you have a little bit of articulation on the tips here. And so, yeah, just absolutely impressive. I mean, I, when I saw the photos of it, immediately I had to jump on it as far as the pre-order. And then when I saw some other people had, you know, received it before I did, and I was looking at them and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was watching in the, uh, in the group when I saw that the, you know, the videos of, you know, how the thing was being made and the, all the step-by-steps that they were taking. Uh, I was just getting more and more excited when I received it. And when I actually had it in hand, I was not disappointed. I was so glad to receive this figure and it is just absolutely impressive. 100% impressive. Uh, this is definitely a conversation piece and uh, uh, definitely I would say a grail for me. Uh, this is just an absolutely amazing figure and I'm so proud to have it. So yes, this is definitely the number two spot. And I know you're probably wondering, it's like as great as this figure is, as impressive as it is, what could possibly beat him as number one? Well, let's check it out. Okay, and here we have our number one figure of 2021. This is the VTS Gunslinger, also known as Arthur Morgan. This figure, absolutely blew me away. I am so impressed with this figure. I mean, I literally had to stop myself from taking so many pictures of this figure because it is so detailed. It is such an impressive figure. This figure also caused me to buy extra accessories to go along with it because it just, I mean, it just adds to the realism of the figure, which already looks real by itself in the photos. So just to point out some of the things that I did uh, as far as extra accessories for him, the bandolier that he has, he only comes with uh, four, I believe four shotgun shells. And so literally I hunted down some different places and found extra shotgun shells to fill the whole bandolier in because I just wanted to have that full look. I went to another spot and bought some rope because he used rope in the uh, in the game, so I went and added that to it. 
I went and bought like a little fireplace so that he can, you know, look like he's out in the wilderness with a with a fire. Uh, and then one of the biggest things that I did to invest with it was I bought this really big horse. This horse was done by Mr. Z and it came with just a regular saddle but I also took the time to invest in getting a custom saddle made for the figure just to make him look even more realistic and so yeah I mean I got the bedroll, got the saddle bags, got the canteen I got everything just to so that this figure can look absolutely as real as possible and so I literally just from that and all the extra accessories, I just I just fell in love with the figure. I actually fell in love with it. Now I will mention that I did uh, pre-order um, uh, the Limb Toys uh, Arthur Morgan figure, and so unfortunately that figure has not arrived yet. However, I will say that I, I've looked at several videos, uh, I've looked at several photos, and I have to say my personal opinion. I believe this one is the better figure. Uh, in comparison between the two, I do believe that the Limb Toys version of this figure does come with a lot more accessories, including a rope, because I went and I bought this one, and the uh, Limb Toys one actually comes with its own rope, as well as a custom base and, and everything else. So I, I, I do get it when it comes to the accessories of that figure. Even the head sculpt for the Arthur Morgan on the Limb Toys version, I think looks good. The downside to that figure, in my personal opinion, is the hat. The way they designed the hat, because of the fact that Limb Toys one, you cannot move the hat. It's like it's literally stuck in one spot. That that lost some points for me uh, because I, there's so many different things that I want to be able to do, and that's the thing you can do with this this version of Arthur Morgan. Literally, I can adjust his hat up. To where I want it like this. I can adjust it head down to where like if I wanted to have him look like he's sleeping or if I want to just have it to where you cannot see his face. I wanted to be able to do that. So with the limb toy version you cannot do that with that figure and I understand it came with the different scopes for the beard and whatnot and I think that was actually really good uh, because this only comes with two head scopes and I believe the other head scope is supposed to look like John Marston and then this one you're supposed to have the Arthur Morgan uh, but the other one does come with the longer hair and I get that uh, I think personally I think this hat looks better than the Limb Toys uh, version of the hat and so literally because of the fact that I can move the hat how I want that's just really an added bonus for me because I mean I understand that they're the ones who's making the figure but I'm the one who's going to own it and enjoy it and everything else so I want to be able to do a number of different things with the figure and this allows me to do that. The, uh, if you recall, for those of you who've seen my uh, top picks for 2020, uh, it was the BTS Revenger, which was the Punisher figure. Uh, that one was my number one pick and here it is, BTS Toys does it again with this one. I will also add that one of the other figures that I wanted to get but didn't come yet was the uh, Jin Sakai from the uh, Ghost of Tsushima figure, uh, which was, I believe they called it the Ghost of Battlefield. Uh, that one, I believe, was also, um, you know, a really good figure, and I ordered it. Unfortunately, it did not come in time, but if I'm not mistaken, that figure was also done by BTS Toys, and so, yeah, it, it would have ended up in my top 10 anyway because I just like the way it looks and the design. I even went and, yeah, before it even showed up, I went and bought an, another uh, saddle for a different horse to go with that figure when that arrives. But this one, overall, I think it, it knocked it out of the park. It is an absolute great figure. I, I just love taking pictures of it. Again, like I said, I had to stop myself because I was posting so many pictures on my Instagram, which if you go to my page, you'll see there's a number of different pictures of Arthur Morgan as well as all the other ones that you've seen. Uh, but this guy, I mean, I was literally just having so much fun posing him in so many different places that I can put him and stuff like that. And so it's just a really, really impressive figure. I'm so glad to have it. I will at some point be doing a comparison video between the two of them as far as the limb toys and uh, this VTS Toys one. 
but I mean they really did an amazing job with this figure. It is very, very impressive and definitely my number one spot. So thanks once again for tuning in. I really appreciate all you guys, all your comments, everything. Uh, even your comments that you've made on my Instagram page as far as my photos and everything. You guys are always appreciated. Again, like I said at the beginning, let me know in the comments uh, what was your favorite picks of 2021. Uh, do you agree with the picks that I made? Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. And so, yeah, these are my top 10. And now we're going to jump into my quick top 10 photos that I've taken this year, 2021. So I'll take the time now to thank you once again for tuning in to the channel. You guys are always appreciated. And we'll see what happens in 2022. Have a great one.